Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of WoW Classic. Robert Rambles here and thank you for joining me today. I think today is the day we're going to be done in Tirisful Glades. We have to finish up at war with the Scarlet Crusade. And what we're looking for is Captain Malrash and his Scarlet Bodyguards. And they're somewhere to the north. I'm thinking we're going to check out the area on the map that we haven't uncovered yet. That seems like a good starting point, because it's around somewhere called Fowl's Rest, and I don't think that we've been anywhere like that here yet. I'm gonna rebuff, just so we know we've got 30 minutes. We'll put Dampen Magic up, that's a 10 minute buff, so we'll try to keep an eye on it. So in case we come across any casters, we'll have that additional defense, which I think is freaking amazing. It's something I would love to have on the Warrior, I'll tell you that. Do a little bit of herb being on the way. I think we've been doing okay so far with silver. Obviously, we have a lot of spells to learn as a mage, so that's just going to cost us more than maybe some other classes. And, you know, that's why we picked up two gathering professions to kind of offset that. I want to thank you guys again for being here and for watching and for kind of sticking with it even though I know I've been pretty inconsistent recently because of things that have been going on in real life and the fact that I've been sick for a while so yeah the support does mean a lot. This is where I would spend much more of my time if I could. And you might look at that and think, well, you know, that's kind of escapism, isn't it? And yeah, you know, it definitely is on some level, but I feel like that's totally necessary in the world that we live in. It's just that you need that time to escape and be somewhere else and sometimes be someone else. You know, even if it's just at the end of a night after a long shift and it's the time you have to unwind, I feel like it's important to have those things that can kind of take you away and give you a break while you're still conscious. You know, sleep shouldn't be the only reprieve from your toils. And then even better if you can have that escape and have the also the sensation of working towards meaningful goals, you know, within that place. Because, you know, as human beings, we, we naturally crave that meaningful work. And so when we have ways that we can escape and have fun, that we can also work towards goals and see improvements, you know, that, that draws us in and really immerses us much more and makes it uh, that much more satisfying. So, and that's why I love being here so much. And I feel like far from video games being a negative influence on people, you know, they could almost be therapeutic if, if you know, everything in moderation, right? Alright, let's see. We're going to enter the Scarlet Monastery area pretty soon if we keep heading this way. Some earth root up there. Scarlet Watch Post. Sounds potentially promising. I don't see any Scarlet Watch soldiers. Oh wait, Scarlet Vanguard, level 11. Let's head up this way and there, if there's a tower or any kind of structure, which I see a couple of things on the map. Uh, one is kind of north of us. Maybe we just go investigate this tower first. We have some mages uh, we could take care of. I don't think they're gonna run at us, so let's just start with Fireball. That worked out. 
Whoa. Had a feeling there'd be somebody patrolling there. Alright, the coast is clear behind us. There's friars. I don't know, there's another structure over here, but let's just check this out. And then we can rule it out if he's not here. Because I don't I don't know that we've been here before. I don't believe that we have. Ooh, that was a big resist. Yikes. Although, you'll see, like, he didn't do hardly any damage to us. Thanks, no doubt, to Dampen Magic. So that's pretty darn amazing. Let's let's make some food and water, shall we? Did, did we get a new rank? Of food? Conjure food rank 2. Yeah, see, we need to replace that. There we go. And now we need to drink. Hopefully we don't catch respawns. I, I feel like we're probably on the verge of getting the next rank of water. Based on how long it's taking for us to reach maximum mana. I meant to go for the wand there, and I, I hit F1 instead of F3. For those of you who were annoyed by inefficiency. I have a feeling that since these guys are a lower level that he's not going to be in here. But we're, we're definitely at a point where we're checking it out now. Oh, he healed up to full. What a jerk ass. Okay, buddy. I see how it's going to be. He's still they're still doing so little damage. It's it's actually amazing. And I think we're gonna get more defensive abilities. We're gonna get a different type of armor that is also a defensive ability so I feel like that's pretty strong oh no you know what he is in here I'm, I'm you know that was worth it the low level guys kind of threw me off uh, but it looks like they're all gonna pull together let's take out this patrol first I guess um, we are going to polymorph you and we are gonna fireball you That went pretty well, I think. Let's drink up to full mana before we pull, because we might get all three of them. We can polymorph one of them and freeze them. But I'm kind of wondering, like, how would another class deal with this, you know? I think I would polymorph the guy in the back, and then we'll just wait till they get close and we'll frost Nova. And I'm going to wand this guy down. And then we'll open with a frost bolt. Alright. Oh shoot. Uh, we don't want this guy. It's possible we can just... Let's just drop him. We'll just let him reset. There we go. That's going to be our best move. That's the other bodyguard, um, but we'll go back and get him. 
I kind of forgot that we hadn't polymorphed. <laughs> it's okay because we were low on mana. And now we can just finish him off easily. All right, I think let's just let's just hearth back, right? We don't have anything else to do here right now. And this might be the last quest before we head into Silver Pine, which I'm pretty excited about. Let's take a look at emptying our inventory. This might get us level 13. What would you ask of death? You have done extremely well, mage. With ruthless fighters like you conquering in the name of the Forsaken, our race is one step closer to defeating Arthas once and for all. I have a good feeling about you, comrade. Uh, we don't need either of these things. The hatchet might sell for more. Our enemy is and yeah, he's done with us. Let's sell the hatchet and then we will go pick up the breadcrumb that leads I us into Silverpine. We didn't quite get level 13 here, but I bet if we fought a couple of things on the way, we will definitely get there. Here he is. Let's see if he has anything else. Speak nope, just the delivery to Silver Pine Forest. Time is a luxury that is not afforded to those of us under the employ of Lady Sylvanas. Surely you know this by now. As a member of the Royal Apothecary Society, it is my duty to share my knowledge with my colleagues so that our collective efforts might one day provide the Dark Lady with the new plague she so badly desires. Take these findings to Apothecary Renferel, who is stationed at the Sepulchre in Silverpine Forest. Follow the road to the south from Brill. From the Undercity, go southwest. Take Apothecary Johan's findings to Apothecary Renferel in Silverpine Forest. And here we go. Alright, so we are just going to head past the Undercity to the south along the road. And that might be a little bit of a run, so it's possible that I'll edit some of this out until we actually get into the Silver Pine Forest. And here we are entering Silver Pine Forest for the first time. Probably one of my favorite zones from my memories of actual vanilla. So it's going to be very interesting for me to kind of see what's going on here. Let's fight some of these wargs. Check these guys out and uh, maybe we'll get our level. Discolored Warg Heart. I feel like that's something we're going to need for a quest. Strangely enough, that's like incredibly familiar. This one will probably get us to level 13. Which makes me feel like we're probably coming into this zone like a little high level, which is like... It's definitely fine with me. It's a lot better than being... Oh yeah, and we have to skin. It's a lot better than being under level, which kind of happened to us on the warrior a little bit after a certain point, so... Kind of hoping we can stay ahead of the curve. Yeah, see, this is already green, so that's kind of that's a good sign. I'm happy with that. And I feel like at some point while we're leveling here, unless quests continue to stay green for us, we're probably going to have to head... Uh, to the barons to do some questing and I like the barons but usually you, you can potentially spend so much time in the barons that it's like it's too much barons and it gets a little samey from what I remember because it's an enormous zone uh, but there's a lot going on there 
So I think the best way to take in the Barons kind of is in bite-sized chunks, jumping between uh, maybe Silver Pine Forest and the Barons. A part of me doesn't like doing that, like, you know, because it isn't as immersive, you, it kind of breaks the narrative of, of a zone up, and it makes it harder to follow what's going on in the zone, so we'll see. It's always a struggle, especially in Classic, when it, you're, it's kind of designed for you to have to zone hop to stay ahead of the leveling curve. And less like an RPG where you're just going to be able to follow a, a straight linear path. And I guess I prefer like a little bit more RPG with some with player agency as as to how to progress. I like the continued progression experience as opposed to it being more broken up. It's something that I'm looking forward to in Shadowlands. That they they're promising a, a narrative experience with with a lot of player agency, meaning you you have to make meaningful choices um, as to how things shape out. Hopefully, but we'll see how that goes. Still a long ways away. I'm like just chasing herbs right now. Honestly. Um, and we'll we'll get moving here in a minute. I'll stop randomly chasing down herbs that appear on my map. Oh come on, you can hit him. Oh we pulled another one. Let's get out of this guy's range for a second. No, we out we outranged ourselves. That was silly. And not as helpful as it could have been. Alright, we handled it. It's fine. That's what I get for chasing herbs. I'm probably going to have to fight this guy too. I've committed now to get this peace bloom. It's totally not worth the effort we've put in, but... Maybe somebody will drop a bag or a green. That would be nifty. Oh, shit! Well, okay then. Okay then. There's our green. We can't use it, but we can sure as hell vendor it, so... Thanks, wow. So weird. Okay, let's keep going, before we kill like 10 more murlocs that we don't need to. No doubt we're going to be sent back to slaughter their entire population at some point. We're looking lively today, for being completely dead. Undead. Very lively. Uh, not up this way, but we will... You know what, let's check this out, because there might be a quest up here we can grab. We might have to be led up here, but we're just gonna see. We might have to fight some stuff to find out. Like, we're definitely gonna have to fight this guy. If nothing else, there's like a substantial amount of silver leaf. Oh look, he does have a quest. I had a feeling. I am Deathstalker Arland. Escorting Arland. Do we want to do an escort quest? Where's he going? Yeah, we could do it. We might as well do it, right? We're already here. The wolves outside won't leave, and they eye me evilly every time I step foot out that door. They must be incredibly hungry to think I'm worth eating. I have to report to my teammate. The Deathstalker Rain Yorick. And to get to Rain, I need help against those wolves. Please escort me. And there are a lot of wolves out there, so we'll have a better chance if you have friends who can help. Hi! <laughs> I don't have any friends. Are you are you kidding me? Alright, let's do this. I don't have friends, but I have some CC. Be careful, those wolves like to hide among the trees. Yeah, I um well you're gonna walk right into that one, I don't know. The question is how much of a help are you gonna be? Absolutely zero help. Oh, there he goes. It just takes him a second to figure out that we're fighting, I guess. It's easy to mistake, you know, the sounds of your friend being attacked by a dire wolf. A warg, I'm sorry. Um, hey, we're skinning here. Don't get too far ahead. And we're failing at skinning. 
Now he will outrange us. Um, it's totally about to happen. I am going to sheep you. Hopefully he doesn't attack you. Perfect. As you'll see, he doesn't have like a crap ton of health. So us pulling aggro, probably better. Because we can at least kind of deal with it. The real question is like, is he going to let us drink? He is in a damn hurry. I'm kind of worried that we're not going to be able to... We're not going to be able to loot these right now. Like, we've got to stay on this. Because he's going to get himself killed. And worse, we're going to run out of mana. Trying to defend him. And he's not going to let us drink up. <laughs> That's why they said bring friends. They're like, hey, no, you're going to need help. Because uh, now we don't even have any water. Let's just drink what we have. He just like sprints right back to where he was faster than any escort quest guy I've ever seen in my life. Let me at least loot, dude. Alright. Next time it says bring friends, like, I, I know it's not shitting us. What are you going to end up pulling here? Because I literally only need to fight whatever you're going to fight. How are you able to walk between them all like that? Oh. Just like that, I guess. Okay, well, I'm glad I took a leap of faith there and followed. We're almost there. We made it. Thanks. I couldn't have gotten here without you. Uh, yeah, you probably couldn't have. It's good to see you again, Erland. What is your report? Masses of wolves are to the east, and whoever lived at Maltzen's Orchard something something, if I am excused, then I'd like to check on Quinn. Uh, let's deal with this thing first, guy. Okay, can we have some priorities here, please? Thanks. Thanks for prioritizing. He's gonna check on Quinn now. Is Quinn inside this building? Probably. You are Rain Yorick. My brother and I are on a vital mission, but we are holed up in this farmhouse. The Death Stalkers need your help. Thank you for the aid. I had feared Ireland was overcome by the dangers of Silver Pine. With your help, I see that he has not been. Okay. Uh, oh god, our inventory's full? Are you serious? Um, clams? Okay. Let's do this. Okay. I haven't got all day. That's, um, yeah, we need another bag ASAP. I'm gonna have to buy one. I'm gonna have to break down and buy one. The Deathstalker's report. Although Quinn's wounds are mending, I want to get our report to High Executor Hedrick as quickly as possible. It is information that is vital to the Forsaken's occupation of Silverpine. Bring the Deathstalker's report to High Executor Hedrick at the Sepulcher. So we're going there anyway. It was good that we did this. It was good that we did this first. So we have the letter. Let's check this out. Deathstalker mission report. Agents Rain York, Quinn York, Erlen McCree. Primary mission, perform reconnaissance through Northern Silver Pine and determine threat levels of wildlife and scourge. Agents commence sweep, finding significant work presence, recommend hunting squad dispatch to reduce the threats. Undead gnolls were found at the farm, studying dubbed the dead field. Their purpose at the farm is not known, though their movements and level of readiness suggest imminent military action. In time, they were observed no notable... In time, they... There were observed no notable leaders were found among the gnolls. It is assumed they await the arrival of leadership or reinforcements. Continuing the sweep, our agents were detained at Ivar's farm. Ivar, most of his family, and his workers had succumbed to the scourge and become its minions. Our agents were attacked, and although successful in defeating their ambushers, they sustained serious injuries, particularly Agent Quinn. A defensive position was taken in Ivar's old house. And while Rain kept watch for future attacks, Erlen continued reconnaissance missions. Erlen was then pinned by wargs in a northern orchard, only escaping with the aid of another forsaken agent. That agent is the bearer of this report. 
It should be noted here that this report bearer was instrumental in not only the success of our mission, but also the defeat of Ivar the Fowl, the rescue of Erlin, and the deliverance of this report. We extend our gratitude and recommend that command acknowledge this individual with awards befitting such meritorious conduct as was displayed in the field. Deathstalker Rain York, mission leader. Okay, it's cool to read these because when you read these letters and these commendations from people that you have helped, it kind of builds that concept that your character is in fact becoming a hero in the world and gaining in importance. Um, with your allies, and that's really cool to see, actually, and if you don't read that stuff, then I guess you never get that sense, you know? It, you know, you're not as immersed in the progression of your character. Uh, let's just check out what else she has, and then we're probably just going to head to the sepulcher. Let's see, Wild Hearts. My brother Quinn was badly hurt by the ghoul Ivar the Fowl, and I don't know if he will heal properly without magical aid. Although I am not an apothecary, I do know that our apothecaries can make healing potions from the discolored hearts of wargs. Gather such hearts and take them to Apothecary Renferel, the sepulcher to the south. Then return here with the potion. You can find plenty of wargs between here and Maldron's Orchard to the east. Uh, discolored warg hearts? We have three of these already, and that's awesome. Our time will come. So we can track that. So any wargs we come across, we'll just take them out. But on that note, we are going to keep heading south. Oh no! Okay, we've slowed them all. Um, and now, let's do that and let's uh, let's keep going before they annihilate us. Didn't really mean to run across the fields. But we got away with it anyway. Because mages are awesome. And speaking of that, let's rebuff ourselves, shall we? Uh, that's a Moonrage Glutton. Okay, we could probably grab this without fighting him. This place is, like, completely full of herbs. I'm very happy with our choice to grab herbalism and skinning. And I need to pay attention because I think we're going to have to train. We're going to have to train soon. At least our herbalism. We don't want to cap out. I capped out too many times on the warrior and it's just, just kind of wasteful. We'll go off-road a little bit and just fight whatever wargs we come across. We'll see how common this drop rate is. And we will also remember to skin because we had to kill a few that we couldn't during that escort quest. Although that was kind of enjoyable to solo that. It had a level of challenge to it. We almost lost the guy a couple of times. He almost died. I feel like we're going to get jumped here by something, but... Well, that warg, perhaps. Alright, I want to keep heading... I do want to keep heading towards the sepulcher, so I won't get incredibly distracted. It seems like there's going to be a lot of uh, stuff in our way, and a lot of herbs together, as it is. I was too close to pull him, probably. Our inventory is full, which is bad because if we can't loot, if we can't loot, we can't skin. So that's not good. Because we need we need to be skinning um, to level it up, mainly, but also because we need to be selling all that stuff. We're gonna fight this one warg, and then we are going to head more directly towards silver till towards the sepulcher. Sepulcher. It's pronounced sepulcher, right? <laughs> 
So the, the oh god no. Whew, oh shoot. All right, we're running. I can't wait till we get blink. I can't wait till we get blink. These guys are actually fast. The slow from uh, the frost armor is not slowing them to the point where they can't hit us more than once. Let us contemplate heading back to the road, shall we? Let's consider that. We're kind of skating through some dangerous areas and we're probably surviving because we're a mage and because we're a little bit higher level. You can see the end of our rested experience down there, so it's going to be important to start parking it at an inn when we do take a break, just so we can gain more rested experience. You always want to log off in an inn or a major city. And I have a bad habit of sometimes logging off in the field. I think with the introduction of the... Is it the Vulpera? Who are going to have the ability to set up a camp and bind a hearthstone to that camp and place the camp anywhere in the world. And I think that's going to pro probably provide rested experience if you're leveling and I think that's incredibly awesome. And it's an overpowered racial but it'll probably make me play a Volpera at some point so that's fine. Ooh, requires herbalism 70. Okay, so it's, it's down this road here. For some reason I thought it was much further south but it doesn't seem like that's the case. That's really weird. For some reason, I remember the sepulcher being much further south. Oh, look, our first flight point. Uh, are we going to have the flight point to Undercity automatically? Oh, yeah, look at that. That's very, very useful. I like that a lot. And that way, if we want to hit up the auction house for a new wand, or if we want to train any of our skills, we can just fly right to the Undercity from here. There, there are a lot of quests here, so... We're not going to grab all these today. We're going to turn in what we do have, and then we're going to grab these next time when we start up. Just so we can not forget what we have going on. What now? The Dark Lady has put the challenge forth. Now it is up to the Royal Apothecary Society to develop a new plague. We shall bring Arthas and his wretched army to their knees. Uh, let's do the delivery. Ah, how good of Apothecary Johan to send his research. With so many new developments here in Silverpine, I nearly forgot about the findings coming out of Lordaeron and Tirasol Glades. Which reminds me, I need to get those samples off to the Necropolis soon. But you must excuse my rambling. Extend your stay in Silverpine. We could use an able-bodied mage like you around here. Okay, and then Wild Hearts. We don't have all the hearts yet. What is this? Is this telling us something underground? It must be underground. Let's, uh, let's head down. I feel like I probably turned the NPC names off. Uh, let's get that back. There we go. Now the world makes a little bit more sense <laughs> because we know who people are. And speaking of that, let's go ahead and sell all of our junk. But not the discolored hearts, which we could vendor if we accidentally click on them. Uh, which we are not going to accidentally do. Because that would be silly. Alright, let's turn in this report. Did you discover the fate of the Death Stalkers? We did. I hadn't accounted for, this, for the level of scourge presence we've seen in Silverpine Forest, nor for the troubles our Deathstalkers have had in their scouting efforts. Your aid to our Deathstalkers was invaluable, and you will be commended. 
While you were out helping our Deathstalkers, Apothecary Renferil sent you a summons. He did not give me details, but he wanted to speak with you about the wolf hearts you had given him. Speak with Apothecary Renferil at the Sepulcher. Sepulcher. I will say it correctly like 20% of the time. We are going to take a break here, and when we come back, we will start picking up the rest of these quests and start really diving into the Silver Pine Forest content, so I'm pretty excited. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate the support. Take care, and we'll see you again soon.